All right, so every time we hear, you know, about the offense, the name DeAndre Overton comes up. What has en enabled you to kind of set yourself apart so far this camp? I mean, I've seen the depth that we have this uh, this summer coming into camp, and uh, I just wanted to better myself, uh, put myself in a position where I could help the team. So, you know, I have improved my skills, studied a little bit more, and try to put myself in a position where I can help my team to win. What would you say was the biggest thing you worked on this summer? Uh, definitely my releases and uh, getting faster. Last year, I struggled on releases a little bit. Uh, didn't really work my technique, so I really got down to it, and it's gotten a lot better. What was your conversations with Coach Scott after the spring, and you know the kind of things he challenged you? Uh, he challenged me to be more like Mike. Uh, he sees like resemblance in our in our talent and how we came in as freshmen. So he challenged me to put my game to a high standard, and I guess I'm held to that standard. When you go back and watch that last drive of the national championship game, it's obvious what Mike meant. Right. Do you think you can be that guy, that tall receiver who can go up and get those jump balls, make those catches? Definitely, definitely. That's what I plan to do. Uh, just got to keep working and, you know, just have faith in my team, have faith in the quarterbacks, have faith in the whole depth chart, wide right receivers, and we're going to be good. When you came in, you kind of knew it was going to be a, a kind of a work in progress kind of thing that, you know, you, you obviously weren't going to be Mike Williams in the first definitely. year for me. Definitely. I knew it was going to take a little bit of time. Um, that's nothing. That's nothing to somebody who's willing to work. So took a little time. Now I guess it's my time to shine. In an effort to, to be like Mike, what else do you have to do? Definitely have to get stronger, get bigger, use my body more, use my hands to be more physical, and go attack the ball. I know you guys all like each other, but is there a good competition going on Definitely out there? Definitely, there's a good competition. Um, but it's all out of love. I mean, we all want to play the game. We all want to be out there on the field, helping our team win. What do you see out of out of T um, over there? Uh, just, just stuff. We're hearing good things about him too. T is a, a person who's going to get the ball regardless. Uh, I mean, he goes to the ball. He knows how to find the ball. Great jumper. A lot of basketball skills uh, that transfer over to the field. Which spot have you worked out of the most, and, and do you think will be your home this year? What spot? Like yeah, position? like nine man. Yeah, yeah, five. definitely nine man. Haven't really moved out a lot. Uh, nine man. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. All right, Coach Sweeney, let's go ahead and knock him out. <laughs> For you, kind of give us a self-scouting report heading into this part of camp, you know. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Uh, my strengths, I've uh, been able to work my releases a little bit more. Definitely could work more on that, my technique. And um, I guess I got a little faster, but I definitely could work on that. When you started camp and you saw all this talent that's here, was it in your mind, man? Somebody's got to go out there and get those snaps. I got to go to work. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, we've, we're losing people. Uh, when we lose somebody, somebody else has to step up. So I guess my role stepped up, and I got to do it. Is it fun still to have Cornell here? Or? Definitely. Definitely, it's a lot of fun. Uh, knowing that you got a hometown a friend alongside on the other side of the field, so it's definitely a great experience.